A new study has found the University of South Florida has more than six times the Environmental Protection Agency's enforceable limit of PFAS, or forever chemicals, the EPA says can be harmful. Tonight, an associate professor from USF's College of Public Health is weighing in. This channel is Victoria Lucas live in Tampa with what she has to say. And Victoria, I'm sure students are also reacting to this as well. Josh, they are. And just to give you perspective of just how many students attend classes here on USF's main campus, the latest fact book says over 47,000. And the university professor I spoke with says there's just not a lot of information right now to really tell how harmful these PFAS are. Enforceable levels move up and down. USF Associate Professor Marie Bourgeois says animal studies have shown PFAS, also known as forever chemicals, can affect the immune system and make vaccines less effective. But she says it's still not enough for now. When you do uh, an in vitro study or when you do a, a study that's on animals, you still have to sort of extrapolate to get that to humans. And it's not a perfect jump from humans to uh, to people. The EPA says the enforceable limit for two different types of PFAS is four parts per trillion. A USA Today study revealed one of those PFAS was measured at USF Central Plant and was more than six times that limit. The Central Plant is home to the department responsible for all of the university's utility systems, including water. So how harmful is six times the enforceable limit? We don't know. One freshman student we spoke with says he's a bit concerned. But now it's feeling me like more worried. Like, uh, but I'm sure university must be doing something uh, regarding it. The university told us in a statement it's involved in an EPA program that requires public water systems to conduct additional testing for 29 PFAS compounds, adding in part, additionally, USF has chosen to proactively engage independent experts to continue to ensure the university has the latest information and federal guidance on PFAS and any other water quality regulatory issues, which further supports USF's commitment to providing safe drinking water. And the university adds it regularly shares its water quality reports with the university community. You can find a link to that report on our website, WFLA.com. Reporting in Tampa, live, Victoria Lucas, 8 on your side.